2021 Supreme ZS212 spinning nicely for us out here on the river. Um, this one is in electric blue metal flake in onyx black. Really sharp looking boat, pickle fork style bow. Docking lights inlaid on the front there, as you can see. This one is set up with a black Roswell tower, set of uh, Roswell board racks, factory bimini top. This one also has the new um, Champ audio package, which comes with Rev 10s on the tower, upgraded interior speakers, and a 12 inch West Sound sub. But really nice package. This thing's this thing looks super mean on the water, kind of like a little Batmobile esque, yeah. But uh, we'll swing around the back real quick. We've got that silver interior with white accents. We've done a really cool gator step um, with black overlay with a really subtle blue underlayer on the gator step, which I think looks really cool. Brings a little bit more color into the interior as well. But that metal flake looks really cool in the sun. Super sharp 21 footer. Let's uh, hop inside, check out all the features on the ZS212. All right, we're on the interior of this ZS212 where we have our silver main vinyl with black piping and the frost white accent and um, boxing on here. Really sharp interior. Sun's kind of low in the sky, but get a good idea of what the scheme is. Um, but we're gonna have some weird shadows going on here today. Huge sun pad on the ZS. You can see it. we've got the Gator Step swim platform with the step up into the middle and on, it, on into the back. Our rear seat cushions in the corners here open up into storage also use those as coolers They're deep enough to have drinks standing up inside same story on the on the starboard side and i've got leaves in here there we go get those out huge sun pad though great spot for lounging and hanging out stepping on the seats on into the interior you can open up our storage so we've got the plug and play bags on both sides covers over there right now you get the crossbar for support when you do the ski pylon and underneath if i can get this one handed there we go is our 409 horsepower six liter engine from pcm closed cooled back in the back are all our pumps for ballast this is option with all the available ballast. So you've got hard tank in each corner in the back, plug and play bag here and here, quick fill tank under here, which runs from the corner all the way up to here. Then we've got belly and nose for 4,600 pounds. So this thing's loaded up. I'm gonna fill the ballast here in a second. We'll get some running footage and uh, lock the Perco locks real quick. There we go. Stepping inside, let's take a quick look at the tower. This is the new Roswell Tower, nice and tall. Tons of headroom in this thing. Got the rotating board racks. Thicker spot on the, on the top for bigger surfboards. New audio package, it says the Champ audio package, so it's gonna have the Wet Sounds Rev 10 tower speakers. Big boys, look really cool. Have the horn, big woofer. Awesome improvement. And then up top, obviously factory bimini top with surf pockets. Super easy to load boards in in here. As you are standing on the sun pad and you can just slide them right in. Tons of shade. Fits nice and tight, doesn't flap around. Really like it a lot. Uh, wrap around seating in the boat. 
we open up our seats you got drop-in storage under there you can see we got boat bag in there actually that's the bimini cover but kind of like a like a rhino line tough coated type finish to our storage compartments we do have loose seat bases in here back center seat does snap in now so if you're towing this thing with the cover off won't go flying nice step on into the interior if you want to move the seat out of the way which has access to strainer bowl bilge all the goodies drain plug now before i jump any further i do want to point out this really cool gator step we've done it's in the blue and black top sheet and it's a really subtle blue the exterior of the boat that electric blue metal flake i don't want to call it pale it's definitely obviously blue some <laughs> some metal flakes like the gun metals and whatnot do have a lot of blue flake in them but this gator step is blue it's probably really hard to tell but it brings a lot of nice color into the boat otherwise uh, would have been a kind of monochromatic style interior this does have the lean back that pops in no matter heard my ballast pumps kick on i've got i had the ballast filling and then i killed the engine and there's an automatic ballast drain built into the systems of the boat so you don't get hydro lock so thought that out really well if sit here for like three or four minutes with it off it starts to pump the tanks out do have storage in the ob as you can see batteries uh this has the icebreaker package so um I guess I shouldn't call it icebreaker package. That's more of a centurion thing, but we do have the heater and the air dam option on here for climate features, amps, all the goodies are mounted up in there as well. If we drop in under this seat here, actually need to flip this open, but I'll just lift this up real quick. Ah, there we go. We have a cooler. Again, loose seat cushions in here but everything's locked by like a block in there so it's not just gonna like slide all over the place glove box has this really cool supreme logo with the model insignia on there the charging ports in the glove box as well as storage here's your little tool to release the tower tower does fold forwards super easy to do um coming over to the dash phone holder big screen Tack speedo on the right. We'll look at that in a second. And then um, nice big driver's seat. Does bolster up, but super comfy. Gator step all along the gunnels of the boat. So if you're like coming in off a dock on the side, you're not stepping on you know slippery fiberglass to where or also you won't scratch it up. So pretty cool. Let me fire this thing up real quick. I'm gonna fill the ballast while we're sitting here because I'm gonna take some pictures and some running footy footage here in a second. But on the screen, very similar to last year, biggest improvement is gonna be we have the stereo in here with zone control. Interior tower and sub. Um, you can do your volume slider here. It's all Bluetooth. Exit out of that. But surf controls, ballast. This one doesn't have maps, but you can get it if you want. And then most importantly, in my mind, most importantly, rider presets. So you can go in, fine tune these, create your own. Super easy to do, add profile, go through, pick what you want and name it. Pretty amazing. Super simple. Lighting, nav lights here, open accessory switches, bilge blower. Down low, we got the heater. More open accessory switches, this does have Docking lights, turn those off. Big 12 inch sub at the driver's feet right there as well as that heater outlet. And then in the front, also big mirror, adjustable. In the front, air dam slides in, but we do have the bow filler cushion. Nice deep seating in the bow of the ZS. Um, we do have ballast um, bags under the seats in here but you can access your storage under here. So a lot of storage in this boat. OB is huge. The back is massive. So you can store boards across the top of the motor there. And obviously under all our seats here in the back, 
but we're gonna load ballast up in the front. If we open up in here, you got your heater, quick access to your heater down there. So anyways, pretty much covers everything on the interior. It's really sharp. This boat looks really, really good on the water. Um, let's load it up and get some running footage. ZS-212, an electric blue metal flake in black. I dig this color scheme. So many shadows right now. You can get it in at the end of the day, but look at that, it's really sharp. Six liter, 400 horsepower, fully ballasted, has the stinger tap down. Oh, a nice shot, him pressing, coming back. Oh, way down there. You can see the docking lights at least. Soft ride right through the waves. Boom. Lots of booms today. I like this 212. Sharp, sharp. Twenty twenty one Supreme ZS two twelve. Give us a call in three bowers three one seven eight four five nine two five three. More details on this beautiful boat.